Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I will be helping you how to do the parallel parking with the steps your instructor gives you. In the beginning, many learners, what they do is they keep forgetting the steps the instructor gives them for them to practice. So your instructor will tell you to stop alongside of the car in front and then go back until a certain point and do one left and then do one right and the learners they find it difficult to remember those steps so in this video i will give you how to remember those steps hopefully it will help you i do have other videos uh, on parallel parking how to do the parallel parking giving you all the steps that you need also how to correct a parallel parking if you get it wrong if you haven't seen those videos I will leave a link on the description below for you to see but this video will help you how to practice and how to remember the steps you need to take or you need to do to do the parallel parking first I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice let's start the lesson okay so the best way to practice this parallel parking in the beginning for you to learn and for you to remember when you were practicing is to write these steps on a piece of paper as your instructor tells you how the steps are so when your instructor tells you the steps that you should be using to do this parallel parking my advice is write those steps down on a piece of paper and then put this piece of paper somewhere in front of you in the car and when you practice on the road um, just look at these steps and practice few times and that way it will help you to remember because in the beginning it's all about memorizing the steps of the parking so my advice is write the steps in advance on a piece of paper and then put this piece of paper in front of you somewhere in the car and then use this piece of paper to do the steps in the beginning do that few times until you remember then it becomes easier for you to do the parking so on my channel you will find two videos on parallel parking one how to do the parallel parking and one how to correct parallel parking and like i said for both i will put the link in the description below so you could see and learn the steps if you want to or you could just write the steps your instructor gives you just write that step on a piece of paper and use that or you could use the one I gave on my channel and um, just write the steps down so this is the step I have given on my channel on the video on parallel parking for you to learn so these are the steps on a piece of paper write this step so this is your car and that's your parked car you go and line up so your car in slightly forward than the parked car so it's, you line up okay then you reverse back until back end is in line so your car and the part car both of them the back end is in line one turn to left so you do steering one turn to left one circle okay so then you keep going reversing and because you've done one left the back is going to go in and the front is going to come out and keep going back until your car is in line in this position around one o'clock okay so if this was 12 o'clock imagine this is a clock your car is in an angle around one o'clock once you reach this point one turn right so this time one right so here you did on the back is level one left when the car reaches around one o'clock one right okay once you've done one right your car is now straight you're just going to go straight to the pavement so imagine the next step the car is going straight to the pavement now your aim is to go close to the pavement so that's the pavement this is the corner of your car so once you are really close and for you to know you will see on the side mirror how close you are so once you reach very close to the pavement stop and then what you do is full right lock this time full right lock steering once you've done that car's going to go in and you wait until the car is straight when the car is straight get the steering straight so then you steer left to get the wheel straight okay so if you write the steps down on a piece of paper 
put that piece of paper in front in the car practice few times looking at the steps and this will remind you when to do the steering and this way it will help you to memorize quicker and you will learn this quicker and um, the way you would put this use the help of in this case white tack you could also use blue tack normally they call it but there are also white tack so all you do is get a piece of white tack put it here and then um, you put this in front somewhere near where you can see when you are practicing so with the use of the with the help of the blue tack or the white tack you just put it somewhere in front in the car when you practice you could just see the steps as you are practicing so just to give you an example imagine i am now um, doing the parallel parking okay so there is a car on the side and i'm using the steps my instructor gave me to do the parallel parking and the steps i have written on a piece of paper and i've got it in front of me here so when i'm practicing i am looking at the steps so it's easier for me to remember okay so first step is to line up so i've done the lining up i came that's the car i've done the lining up okay once i line up reverse look around blind spot so then i look at the back okay and i go back and what do i need to do i need to go back until back end is in line with the other car so i go back and i'm looking at the so i know what i need to do i'm going back and now the back is in line so i could see the back is in line and that's the second step so what do I do? One, turn to left. Done. And how do I know? Because it says on my piece of paper, one, turn to left. I look around and I go back. What's the next step? Is to go back until one o'clock. That's the reference my instructor told me to do. So I'm going to go back until one o'clock. So now my car is one o'clock so what do i do one turn to right so when it's at one o'clock the position my car is when my car is in line and it's positioned around one o'clock what do i do one turn to right one turn to right look around and what's the next step i need to go back until to the pavement i am close to the pavement that's what it says on my piece of paper. So I'm going. That's the pavement. Okay, so that's the pavement. I'm quite close to the pavement. How do I know? Because I'm looking at the small mirror, the, the blind spot mirror, or you could see on the side mirror anyway. If you're close to the pavement, I am close to the pavement. What do I do? Full right lock. Okay, that's what it says, full right clock. Once I've done full right clock, I'm gonna be looking around and go back, but I'm gonna keep looking in case I hit the pavement and I'm all okay. And I'm gonna be keep going until my car is and now I could see my car is straight. When the car is straight, what do I do? Get the wheel straight. One, two. Now my car is straight. Little bit back. So now my wheel is straight. Handbrake on. Neutral. Rest my feet. Okay? And that's how you practice. And this will be the best way for you to practice if you don't remember or if you keep forgetting the steps that you need to do when you are doing this parking. Now you probably notice when I did the practice, I stopped and I did the steering because normally you need to steer when the car is moving, not when the car is stationary because that is known as dry steering. But in the beginning when you are practicing, I wouldn't worry too much about the dry steering because you are practicing to memorize these steps. Once you get the steps right, once you remember the steps, 
by practicing few times and then eventually you will be doing all in one go and you won't do the steering while the car is stationary okay so in the beginning few times maybe when you're practicing i wouldn't worry too much about the dry steering um, because i allow my students to do that in the beginning just to practice because we don't do the dry steering in general especially in the test the reason in the beginning we are allowed is because we are practicing so that just to get the steps for us to do the parking okay that's it for today and i hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and if you are new to the channel uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now